whether it's breaking my hand, whether it's going to quarantine, or whether it's winning the NBA championship and signing with Golden State and things like that, man, I think that all of it is part of my story. And I don't think that I would have believed if somebody told me I would be sitting here right now, honestly. Growing up in Memphis, man, I was just, just a kid. I was just a kid that, it's crazy, my, my friends talk about it all the time, but I remember trying to make my high school, I mean, my middle school basketball team. And before that, playing in, in, the, in the street, in the in the driveway, you know, that was that was my basketball for me. Just hooping in the neighborhood uh, with my friends. And so, learning how to, you know, I, I, just, I just thought, man, I'm gonna play basketball and I'm gonna make it to the NBA. I didn't know the steps that take to get there. So, going from there to high school and being, you know, one of the, at the time, the only freshman to play varsity. Enjoying life in Memphis and being with my family, just playing basketball, that was that was me before before things got real, before I kind of took it really seriously and, 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 you know, tried to make something of it. Man, my mindset coming out of coming out of college, man, after I finished Belmont, uh, you know, going into the NBA, thinking, obviously wanting to get drafted, but from, from then on, it was like, man, just put your head down and work. It didn't start to get real, real for me until I got my, my NBA workouts. I had like seven or eight. And when I start to, to compete with some of the guys that were high on the draft board and stuff, like it kind of showed me like, okay, well I can I can do, I can play. You know what I'm saying? And man, my introduction, my first couple years in Utah was cool, man. It was like, it was one of those moments where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like you made it. And, but I mean, it's kind of, it starts over for you now. Like you didn't made it to the top and now you're back in the bottom of the totem pole because now I'm a, a young undrafted rookie, you know, and, and I'm trying to make a name for myself. My experience at Golden State was probably, I mean, obviously, it was probably the best time of my career um, so far. Just because, man, it was, you know, I, I got the call, I was actually in Nashville, and I got the call that um, I was going going out to the Bay Area, and this is right, you know, I was just watching the finals. They had just won the, uh, 2015, it just won the ship. So uh, the mindset there was, man, perfection. Obviously, nobody can catch that, but that's what you that's what you think about because you're going, like you're saying, you going into in the practice with in games with Steph and Clay and Draymond and those guys is they on it. You know what I'm saying? And they, obviously they had a rhythm. So trying to find my way in, but it was it was it was easy because. I wasn't trying to go out there and you know dribble 25 times, go behind my back and cross over, blah, blah, blah. I knew that, man, I came in to, to defend. I came in to shoot, take care of the ball. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, you know, be an energy guy. And um, I think that's very important. And I, I hope that, you know, guys younger than me and, and guys that's coming up understand that as well so they can help me with their career. Playing in the finals, I think some of my favorite moments was, one is just like the media, media day. You know, we come in and you don't know, last two teams. So every single, you know, newscast, all of those people, like all the reporters, everything is just, it's so many people, especially pregame uh, when we're warming up. But I think those are one of the things that I think that I'll take from it for sure. But man, obviously just winning, man. That's my favorite part. That winning it in Oracle, that's the most special to me. The other two times they won it in Cleveland. And so being on that team that won it in Oakland, uh, in front of the home fans and, and being able to, to share the experience with my parents. My parents was there. My, my mom has a has the, the championship uh, ring, the pendant, because you know she was there for the final. So being able to, to share those experiences with my family, um, I think it's big. I think that the relationships that I've made for off the court to set me up for later in life. You know, being able to, whether it's, you know, tapping in with, with the Bay Area and the, and the tech world, or, you know, if I want to do coaching, you know, it, it, at any level, um, I have the opportunity to do that now. So I think that, you know, obviously they have, you have to say and use basketball and let it use you. And I took that, you know, dear to heart in trying to make sure that I, I take advantage of every opportunity that I have. Man, I think my experience here at Belmont was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I tell everybody the same thing. I don't think I would change my decision or where I went to, where I chose to play. To have that degree on my resume is really big for after basketball, but um, obviously being here, one one of my biggest things was being able to play close to home so my parents could see me. Um, but two, playing for Coach Bird was, he demanded excellence. When I came to Belmont, I became more efficient. 
with things that I was doing. So I didn't need the ball a lot to, to make an impact on, on the court. I didn't need a lot of shots to have a lot of points because I, I wanted to make everything. I wanted to be very, very, very solid. And I think that coming here, I think helped me with that. Um, and, you know, Coach Barrett teaches a lot of life, life lessons, you know, make sure we be on time, how we carry ourselves in the airport. Uh, you know, we had to wear polo shirts and khakis when we went to road trips, every every road trip, my four years. So, uh, you know, little little stuff like that helped me shape to be, you know, the man that I am now. Pretty Ian Clark was a difference maker. Uh, and what a, what a significant contribution you've made here. Congratulations. seem real honestly like I, I still think of myself as just a regular guy that's just from Memphis the kid I was just telling you about so man I'm humbled honored you know what I'm saying to to be able to even be mentioned or have my name have people say I'm a legend or say man you one of the greatest to come out of such and such and this and this man it's like it's really a blessing honestly and I I try not to take it for granted and I don't want people to to think that you know I don't appreciate it because I don't Oh man, like yeah, I know I am. Like I'm, I'm never the type to boast, but at the same time, man, I try to make sure I'm humbling myself because it's as easy as I have it, it can be taken away. So I just want to make sure that I, I take every day, one day at a time, and, and appreciate it. So it's, it's definitely love for sure.